May Allah protect us. It is worth crying for my brothers and sisters. We are calling for unity. It is not going to come without tolerating one another. We need to understand not everybody is going to think the same. Not everybody is going to have the same inclinations. But don't we share the Shahada? Isn't that stronger than the bond of blood, my brothers and sisters? Gone are the days when the Kuffar are excited because they can trample over us by the mere disunity that we are engaged in, my brothers and sisters. We need it, we need it desperately. Our brothers are suffering across the globe, all over. The reason is we are swearing one another. We are calling one another names. We do not want to look at one another. Whereas we all utter the shahada. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. My brothers and sisters, it is a passionate call. We want peace. We are searching for peace. We are the people of peace. Why then are we looked at as warmongers who are killing one another across the globe just because we have a little difference? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect this ummah and may He grant us unity. May He open our doors. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us, warns us of something that we do need a warning about today in the world. Today what happens to the Muslims? Every small thing we are divided. Small thing, we cannot work together. We are divided. If a person, for example, is tall, he doesn't get along with those who are short. I mean, that's a bit ridiculous, but it can happen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really has warned us about dispute amongst you as an ummah. If you are to dispute and argue, what will happen? You lose your power and your might as an ummah. Today we have two billion Muslims on the globe. We cannot agree to swat a fly. I'm honest with you. We have two billion Muslims on the globe. We cannot agree to swat a fly. Why? Because everyone is a big sheikh on his own. And everyone wants to have a big say. And the sheikhs are fighting each other. Each one calling the other a kafir. Wallahi, it's a reality. So what is happening? Our leaders are debating and arguing and fighting and calling each other names. The public are even more confused because any message of goodness, they are kept away. Hey, don't go here. Don't go there. What is the story? What happens? Allah says, verse number 46 of Surah Al-Anfal. Follow Allah and follow his Rasul and do not dispute with one another because it will result in your total failure and the, and the going away or snatching away of your might as an ummah. Gone. Totally gone. Why? Because small disputes. Today, brothers and sisters don't speak to each other. What a shame. Uncles and aunts don't speak to each other. Trustees from one masjid do not get along with trustees from another masjid. Why? It's an issue of prestige. What are you talking about? We are an ummah. We share the shahada. That's enough. Put aside your differences and come together. We need the might as an ummah. We have the numbers. We have everything. But the problem is we are disputing. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us in another verse in the Quran. You know what he says? The kuffar. They are supporters and protectors of one another. Come what may, they put aside their differences when it comes to sticking up for one another. This is in the Quran. We read the verse tonight. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns us. This in fact is verse number 73 of the same surah, Surah Al-Anfal. Do you know what Allah says after he tells us that the kuffar stick up for one another and they protect one another? He says, if you are not going to do the same, then there will be great fitna and fasad on earth. That means if you are not going to stick up for one another and protect one another, then there will be chaos and corruption on the whole globe. Hence, we find the chaos and corruption on the globe today. It is a decree of Allah. We are totally disunited. <laughs>